Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and uh, welcome back. Well, not welcome back. Well, this is the season 14 trailer. It got actually released over the weekend on Saturday, and it was released. So I'm going to be doing my reaction and trailer to that reaction to this trailer and analysis. So here we go. The first watch through is going to be just the reaction, no pausing. Hiya, fellas. We're going after them. You're the only one who knows what's out there. I'll tell you what's out there. Storm. Storm to part. Monsters. Dragons. Doom. Ah! Yes, it got me. Dumb Where are they taking us? Oh, boy. We are the keepers of the amulet. Now, you will be the prisoners forever! Let's mount up and break some waves in three, two, one. So that was the entire trailer. Yeah, the first little bit was cut off, like the first second of it was cut off. But basically, in that first second, it was some guy saying Misako Montgomery Garmin on, which that led to a whole waterbed of discussion as to is about Lloyd's name. So apparently, Montgomery could be Misako's maiden name. And. It just got passed down to Lloyd's name, so Lloyd's middle name is not Montgomery. It's part of his last name now. So, um, but let's do the analysis now. So, as I said before, that was the we d I did the little analysis of the first second, and then as you can see, we have Clutch Powers returning. And my thoughts on this guy are not that great, especially since he was such a coward in. Um, season 11, and nobody really liked him, especially considering, you know, fans who actually watched the movie, who actually watched the movie on, from 2009 of Clutch Powers. Is missing and presumed lost. Hiya, fellas. We're going out. But dang, can we just take a look at these island suits? These suits are amazing. These... They kind of look like a mix between um, the fusion suits and the rebooted suits. They kind of look like a mix of them. because They kind of look like a mix of the two. But you could definitely see... I love the shades. Like, the, the overall, like, the hues. Like, they have, like, this pretty color and then a bit of a darker color, which is also pretty. Which I thought was really good on them. And guess what? Um, I made this on a joke before I deactivated my Twitter. I made this as a joke. I called it hashtag bring back the half mask. And, oh, I'm sorry, Cole. I'm covering your face. I'm sorry. I made a joke on my Twitter before I deactivated it called bring back the half mask. Because those masks were iconic in Ninjago. Just because they, they just look so cool. And... Thank God, after nearly a decade of waiting, we get him back. We get him back. Seven years. You only have to wait seven years, but hey, better late than ever. You're the only one who knows and apparently this guy's name is Twitchy Tim, and he's the only ninja, if you even want to call it that, that escaped the island, or the unknown island as it's called. And apparently, uh, let me scroll back a second if I can. Oh, like right here. Nope, not there. 
not there either. Yeah, apparently the back of his, uh, the back of right here is a reference to another Lego theme that came out around the same time as Ninjago did called Pharaoh's Quest. And, yeah. You're the only one who knows what's out there. I'll tell you what's out there. Storm. Yeah, speaking of the storm, there was a lot of theories that um, these Keeper people um, pray, worship a a goddess by the name of Wohira slash Wojira, since that god name has been mentioned multiple times in the past. First being referenced in Season 8, and then being referenced once again in Season 11 under a different name, Wojira, and not Wohira. Um, my best guess is that because they were in the Never Realm, the Never Realm gave them a different name. It's kind of like how um, similar cultures can name things slightly differently according to their language. Um, and the Keepers, to me, kind of look like Aztecs, like the Aztec people. If you don't know who the Aztecs were, they were people in... Mexico. I think it was in Mexico. And they did a lot of stuff. And apparently there's supposedly a rumor in that they make that the keepers make sacrifices, which the Aztecs did make human sacrifices by cutting out your heart. They basically what they did is they basically cut out your heart open, basically. Monsters. Yep, Jay's getting taken away. Gumdrops. Gumdrops, the classic gumdrops. And uh, go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Um, right here. That helmet uh, that that main keeper is wearing looks very Aztec to me. It looks very Aztec. Gumdrops. Where are they taking us? I don't know, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, God, I messed up that timing. Yes, we got everybody's abuse except for Zane. No more Zane abuse. Stop abusing him. Oh boy. We are the of the no. I mean, the design of the keepers looks really good. That's one thing I will praise Wild Brain's armies that their designs are very good. Probably the best out of all the armies. You will be our prisoners forever. Let's mount up and break some waves. I also don't like how um, everyone except uh, Zane and Nia got a headband. I really don't like that. Like, Zane doesn't even have his whacked, messed up hair as um, the others do, and yet he doesn't get a headband. Three, two. Ah, oh, damn it. Go back a little bit, like right here. Ah, it's not. You can't tell me Lloyd does not look like Rambo. He so looks like Rambo f from the Rambo films. I, he definitely looks like Rambo. Um, it's only a matter of time before he starts shooting off freaking machine guns and he turns it, turns his his voice turns into Sylvester Stallone. And then he has to talk a lot like this now, eh? Okay, yeah, there's this random humor here. I don't really get the placement of that. Okay, go back a little bit right here. I And I saw a lot of people complaining when his minifigure leaked because it was the man bun, the infamous man bun from the movie. But this is not a man bun. That's just a ponytail. That's more of like a ponytail. And I don't even think that's even a ponytail. That's more like a uh, 
It's not a bun either, because it's not like in a bun shape. It's more like a ponytail, um, which it actually really is really good. So apparently, go away, Prem. Prem, fuck off. So apparently, Cole has this like ponytail thing going on, which I think is really cool. And apparently Dwayne is coming back as well. So that's it. That is my full reaction and analysis of the Ninjago Season 14 trailer. I will try to do some more reaction and analysis to some of the older trailers, like the Hunted one. I did recently did one for the Prime Empire trailer. Hopefully I could do one for Hunted, SOG... Hands of Time, the original one, um, the rebooted one. Hopefully, once I get all of those trailers, it, it'll all be complete. But anyways, what do you guys think about this trailer? Do you like it or do you not like it? Especially with the new news that has come out of it. Supposedly being a 45-minute special even or a 45-minute special that starts and then it just doesn't pick up until June, which I don't know why they would do that, but I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button, <coughs> and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.